Hello, and welcome to International Color Day. What a great day to be alive and in the studio, right? I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm an artist working in a bunch of different mediums. Today, it's going to be watercolor pencil, Karen Dash Super Color to be specific. I just love the pigmentation on these and how they water out beautifully. And with my vision for this piece, they were going to be the perfect thing. The idea I started with was this book that I've been reading, The Golden Ratio. It's a deeply technical book that might take me years to get through. It's about art, astronomy, architecture, botany, biology, physics, and mathematics. I'm getting to know people like Johannes Kepler, Goethe, Bartok, and a paisano named Fibonacci. These are all thinkers who saw the world as a place where order, beauty, and eternal mystery always coexist. The Fibonacci sequence of numbers have, has really captured my attention, in which the numbers translate into real-world beauty. It's just astonishing to me how math plays a role in art. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a dream I had based on the Fibonacci sequence of numbers and the Fibonacci spiral. This book really got into my head and I had a dream that I was walking around in what seemed like a Tetris world. There were dome-shaped chips all over the ground and as I walked across them, they would lift up and spin in the most beautiful ways. I was glad in my dream that these weren't Lego pieces, although they reminded me of that. Nothing hurt my feet as I ran through them, at least, so that was good. There were sounds that were made as these chips would rise into the air as well, but I just don't have words to describe what those sounds were. It was just beautiful. Occasionally, I would get a bird's eye view of myself running across this huge plane of these colored bits, making them fly around and twirl in patterns. And in one of those overhead views, I saw I was running in a spiral, a Fibonacci spiral. Have you ever tried to draw a dream? Mine are usually about being chased by Neanderthals or Vikings, something really scary, which doesn't lend itself to any kind of nice art. But this colorful dream was one that I just had to try to capture. My piece of art is not mathematically correct, needless to say. I am not good at measuring things real carefully. And my backwards way of copying the spiral onto the page wasn't even close to accurate. But I knew by the time I was done, the effect wasn't really going to be precise at this small size anyway. If only I had the patience to do this at mural size with these same small pieces, that would be potentially more accurate and would be lovely. Alas, I have not got that kind of patience. But the process was relaxing, slowly building colors as I moved across the grid, creating dimension on each one of those little squares. It took me the better part of a day, about 12 hours plus a few more to finish it the next morning. The pups were hoping that I didn't have a second full day of sitting at the desk and not paying attention to them. They much prefer that I go back to reading so I have my hands free for petting while I do. Let me interrupt myself for a moment with a little thank you to all my new YouTube subscribers. I am so glad you found me here. This channel had plateaued over the last couple years when I was still focused on making art that folds, aka cards. I was getting maybe 50 new subscribers a month, and growth was just non-existent. But once I changed things up and began making all kinds of art, things that moved my heart, things I was interested in, subscribers started increasing in this last year, 600 to 800 a month on average. And the watch time is way up too, which is how YouTube calculates what their payments will be. So your time spent here on the channel helps to pay the bills. So I appreciate you being part of all that in addition to just being part of the commenting community. I am doing something a little bit different right now. Usually my main time that I spend 
on the internet is on Instagram. But they have become such a hot mess lately that I had to just take a break. I'm going to be gone from there for a while and investing more of my time on Art Venture, my community over at Mighty Networks, links in the doobly-doo, as well as more time here on YouTube. Not making extra videos, but I'm going to be using the community posting feature a little bit more. If you normally use your subscriptions tab, you probably have seen a few posts in the last week popping up including a poll about what kind of things that I should share there. If you don't use that tab normally, just go to my channel and click on the community tab and you can catch up on that anytime. Well, after I spent so much time in the last month creating with alcohol markers and colored pencils for the animals and fur classes, it was a total relief to get out a different medium again. This piece really made me feel better. I'm so used to changing it up more often, using different mediums every single day in some cases. But for those classes, I had a lot of work to do. Plus, I wanted to share several of those kind of drawings here on YouTube. And now the markers are getting a blessed rest for a bit. I'll be back on Saturday with more creativity. I think it's going to be some gouache this time since I did get some new brands here in the studio to play with. So I will show you those potentially. So I hope you'll join me. Tap the subscribe button and then the bell and use the all setting that tells YouTube that you want notifications so you don't miss a thing. And in the comments, do let me know what your most beautiful dream was and if you would ever draw it. So I will see you in a few days. Go out and create something every day. Bye-bye now.